Alright, let's learn how to use subtitle edit. Uh, I'm just going to give a very quick tutorial. I have only just learned myself, but it's very easy to use. So let's get into it. First, you'll have to download it if you just Google or whatever search engine you have, subtitle edit. And you should see this one, the URL, something like Nixa. And on the left, it says download. And you'll be taken to GitHub. You can get it off of here by clicking this uh, subtitle edit, whatever version, .zip. And then you'll get a zip file. You can open it and install it as you would uh, as you would with any other Windows app. And once you have it installed, you can go ahead and open it. The other thing you will need to have installed is VLC. So when we want to make a waveform for our video, it will ask if you have VLC installed. If you don't, it will send you to the website to go and download it. Um, it is quite important that you have this installed, otherwise uh, the program's not going to work very well. You won't be able to see the audio waveform, which is very useful when making subtitles. So, um, VLC, install that. And then, once you have the app open, you have VLC installed, you can get your video in. So, open video file. I'm going to choose this movie over here. And you can see here I've got the audio waveform already generated. If you're opening the file for the first time, it may take some time to create this. And you will have to just be patient, especially if you're on a slower machine. So uh, I can just jump around the video. So let's jump to a see we can use this up here to jump around or we can use this down here and uh, I'm going to just jump to this scene why not so let's hear what they're saying uh, you know I'm just gonna get some food on the way to school I'll sew that later tonight okay wait wait wait, wait. Okay. by the lo okay so she over here she says I'll sew that later tonight okay I'll sew that later tonight, okay? So you click at this bit, you can press space to make it play. I'll sew that later off. tonight, okay? And so it starts there. So we say insert new subtitle at video position. And then you can just type in the text box here. I'll sew, sew that later tonight, okay? And you can see it appearing there in the video. And you can choose how long you want it to appear for. You can either type how many seconds you want it over here. But a better way would be to look at the waveform down here and just drag this until you think it, it matches where you want it to start and finish. And that's it. You can move on to the next one and do the same thing. So let's see what the next thing that's being said is. Wait, 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 wait! By the laws of your, I must dub the- Well, I guess he says, wait, wait, wait. So that's just- Wait, 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 wait! Just this little bit here. So it starts here, so you just click where it starts, and then insert new subtitle at video position, and it goes up until there. And we just type, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Or if you wanted, you could smush them all together because he is kind of doing that when he talks. And uh, that's it. So now if we go from here and we watch the video. On the way to school. I'll sew that later tonight, okay? Wait, 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 wait. By the laws of your... Subtitles coming up just under the video. Uh, there are many things you can do with this program. But uh, this is just basic subtitle editing. This is a great way to get started. Um, what I've shown you here is everything you need to do the subtitles for a whole movie or whatever. So I hope you enjoy subtitling. Thank you for watching.